guys and welcome back to my channel. Just have a really quick video for you guys. I had a request on my mod review video for the Andrews Post Player on how to download and install it. So I decided to make a quick little video just showing really quickly. Um, now with any mod you download and install at your own risk. I haven't had any problems with this particular mod, but I can't say that if you download it, you might not have problems or just in, in anything you download on your computer, just be wary. You don't know if there's viruses or whatever just out there. Just be very careful. I personally, when I download things, I do a lot of research before I do. And if I find that you know, I won't have a problem, I'll go on and download it. But anyway, and also when you're installing mods onto your um, game as with any game really you have the chance or the risk of corrupting your game or corrupting your files just so just be careful i'm going to show you how i installed it but i can't guarantee that um you know that is a hundred percent safe proof or foolproof or what have you and also i wanted to just really mention really quickly that i do play sims on uh, a Mac. So the instructions are very similar to downloading and installing on a PC, but just wanted to give you a heads up that that is what I play on. So anyway, I will post the link for my review in the description bar, as well as the website where to download Andrew's Post Player. But uh, basically, if you wanted to download this Post Player, you would go to the website and you scroll down and right here, there is a little link that says download. Now, when you click it, it'll automatically just download. You don't have to go to another website. Uh, sometimes you download mods or just content in general. Uh, it'll kind of take you to one of those things where you have to wait for the countdown. Nothing like that. You just click it and it'll 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 just go on to download it. So uh, it goes into whatever your download for my Mac it'll be in my downloads folder down here for yours it might specify you could do it to your desktop you know just whatever and so uh, that is basically how you are to download it now I would go on and recommend as well once you download it to go on and download the full list of in-game animations and that link is right here above the download well a couple of lines above the download uh, and just to click this it's the same situation you click it a dropbox thingy will come up will go down rather and you'll have the list now i will be honest with you i have not tried it's like hundreds of commands um some of them i've tried and they didn't do anything and some of them i've had tried i'm sorry i'm stopped up stopped up stopped up can't say it anyway some of them i have tried and um they've done something so anyway it will help if you have this list and i would just save it you know somewhere accessible now uh, with this particular mod there's nothing that you need to unzip it actually downloads it as a folder so um, i'm just going to go ahead and drag it to my desktop here just for easy viewing i'm going to also drag the animations and uh, i downloaded some poses and I'll show you really quickly where I put those at and I just downloaded some other stuff just to kind of play with and show you how I install everything. So really quickly going to go back to uh, Safari or would be Internet Explorer or whatever you use for your browser and um, pretty much with uh, this mod you can search for pose packs and you don't have to do the pose uh the the actual text pose and i'll show you what i'm talking about in a second but you could google search uh pose player uh poses <laughs> i think that's what i google search so for this one i just downloaded this one that i got from the sims resource by a miss blue and i do have this one in uh my other game i have uh, two computers now that i'm running sims on yay so i'm excited about that but i need to update this one with all of my mods and uh content and things like that but anyway so i have used this one before it's super cute and then i also downloaded uh this little what is it called sweet rose body coat it came up as a suggestion i love the colors i love the way it looks so i went on and downloaded that as well and that's by sweet sims 4. And i needed some more hair and this Nightcrawler hair just got 
in, uh, released a couple of like what a week ago so I went on and downloaded that one as well and so I'm going to put all of those into my game okay so what you would do is you would go into your finder or your Windows Explorer you would go into my documents and no matter if you're on Mac or PC it'll be in the same area the same location and then you would go to your electronic arts folder now in this case if you have multiple sims they'll all be here like on my other computer I have sims 3 and sims 4 but on this one I just have sims 4 so you'd go into sims 4 and then there's going to be a folder that says mods you open that folder up and basically you take your your post player I would leave it inside of the folder so that way you can know what it is because when you open the folder even though it says Andrew's post player and Andrew's TS4 script, you still might get confused uh, about what it is if it's not actually titled that way, if it's not named that way. And you just drag and drop it. Um, now with the other mods that I downloaded, which is basically just custom content, I'm just going to drag and drop those as well. And then I have my poses. And what I'm going to do, normally when you download a pose, it'll be, well, not normally, a good majority of the time when you download a pose it'll have the cast poses and it'll also have like the pose pack in certain in certain situations now the cast poses would be those that will happen only in the create a sim screen and in this case it'll be when you use the foodie attribute or characteristic they will start going into those poses we saw on the screen um, on the description right here they'll start going into these poses right here but because we are um, just going to use the the uh, pose player I'm just going to grab these poses and stick them over here now with my folders I like to keep things organized but since I'm just doing this for the video purposes normally I would have like a folder that says poses and I would stick that in the pose folder just so that if I go and want to clean up my CC I know where everything's at the same thing with the hair and the little body coat thingy here that we downloaded so now that everything is in my mods folder and I hate <laughs> I hate when my icons are like that okay cool so now that everything's in my mods folder I can go open my game up so I'm going to go on and open that up now and we should be in the sims in a second now you also want to make sure that when you um, install this mod and with quite a bit of other mods you want to have your script mods enabled and I'll show you that in a second as soon as we get past the loading screen and this will be my first time opening up Sims 4 on this computer so I have no files I have no game files rather so I'm gonna to have to just go in fresh with a sim and just make a sim just to show you guys how this works but here it is this little thing will pop up to let you know that you have installed it properly it's basically going to tell me these custom contents are in here and the script mod is in here so as you see it's here so that means that it got installed properly you can uncheck this if you want to and then you won't see it ever again personally I like to leave it on so that way I can just keep tabs on what I do have in the game or if something didn't get installed properly I can see that it didn't get installed so as you see Andrew Post Player is a script mod so you will have to go into um, your options here and you would do that here and you'd go down to other and there's this little checkbox here that says enable script mods you need to have that checked then you apply changes now if you haven't had it checked before it will say you need to restart your game but in this case I've already done it so we're just going to go on it go straight in I'm going to really quickly just make a of course like I said I just I just added this to my um <laughs> to this computer so I'm just going to make a little chick here a little chickadee uh let's randomize her a little bit I kind of want to uh try this uh this custom content I downloaded really quickly I want to just check it out really quickly and then um I'm loving this new filter stuff I really am uh so boom we got the hair Ooh, very nice got like a weird shine to it but that's okay we'll make it um that might be the shine from the uh, the create a sim screen and then I'm going to really quickly I don't know if that's a full body outfit that we put in here but as you can see yep there it is boom that is super cute um, oh I got to get used to these controls here but anyway so real quickly we'll just go into the game 
Oh, no, 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 go back, go back. Sorry. Let's go into the game. Oh, we got to push it. We got to pick a name. Tiffany Spear. And Tiffany, you will be athletic. Why not? And you will also be active, cheerful, and creative. Boom. Here we go, Miss Tiffany. <laughs> We're going to throw her in the game really quickly. So I could just show you. But like I said, you can check out the video I did for the review. Um, and I think I used Bella. Did I use Bella? I think I did use Bella Goth for that. Um, I'm just going to really quickly just take her somewhere. Let's just take her to this lot right here. And um, we're going to go in. And I'm loving how fast my new computer is working. Oh, well, I was saying that, but look at this. Look. And that's another thing you're going to notice too. The more mods and the more custom content you put in your game, the slower it, it gets kind of slow to a certain degree. Um, so basically you would click on your sim. And if I could turn around here, I'm doing this from a touchpad. So you're going to have to excuse really. Oh, she just went down and dropped and gave me 50 really quickly. All right. So you would click her and you pose by name. And that's when you would type in one of those uh, texts that we got from the folder, the file that I told you to download earlier. Or you could post by pack. And this would be the post pack that we downloaded. And it basically tells you pose overhead, hands overhead, showing back, one hand overhead, hands by mouth, ooh, ah, la, la, and hand on the side. Let's check out ooh, ah, la, la. And after she finishes, there you go. You could pause your game and go in and take a very nice picture of our girl here. And um, she's giving it. I love it. And then you could go. And then what I would recommend is she'll probably stay there for a little bit. You could probably just stop posing and then do it again. Pose by pack. We'll pick that pack again and we could do the showing back. And then there you go again. You got your next pose and you could just pause it and take your picture, whatever you want to do. So that is pretty much how that works. So hopefully if you had any questions um, about, you know, how to install that, I was able to help that situation. Like I said, it's, it's super easy. So I will make sure to put the information in the info box as well as uh, the review that I did a couple weeks ago or, or a month ago. I don't even know how long ago that was. Anyway, so you can install it yourself. Uh, if you have any further questions or anything about that, please let me know. Do not feel free. I mean, do not. Whoa. Feel free to ask. Do not hesitate is what I was trying to say. <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys next time thanks for watching bye